Hey guys, it's Michelle from The Crafty Nook. Thanks for joining me. Today, just ignore how much disarray is happening on my desk. I am in the middle of trying to be done by December. I'm working on my 2020 album right now. But I'm also trying to prepare for this year's 20 or December daily. And so part of that included buying a course on the Allie Edwards website. And um, she had her digital classes, some of them for $5 um, a few weeks ago. And I purchased the Create with Canva one. And I am so glad that I did because I have um, always been interested in digital scrapbooking situations and like creating things digitally and then using them physically to put into your albums into your scrapbooking stuff and I was looking for a way to make photo printing easier and more streamlined and edit them because what I have discovered during this done by December is that the photos I have and I'll just show you some examples from the last few years are not very good photos. They're very dark. These were all printed at um, Walgreens and they're very, most of them are very dark and they're just not good quality. And it is making, it, it, I'm not inspired by this project anymore because uh, this year's project because it's just not it's just not what I expected it to be uh, it's not turning out like I wanted it to because these photos are just so dark and I don't I, I was that's part of why I wanted to learn how to create digital things because I feel like there is a way to fix these. I just don't know it. <laughs> um, and so that is what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. The lessons on the Create with Canva, um, Kim Kirst is the one who is teaching the class and she's amazing um, and brilliant. And I've learned so many things. And so I have created some stuff and um, wanted to print it out. And so I asked a question in the December daily, um, Facebook group and was given some, uh, direction on paper to use. And so I have printed out some of the things that I've made and realized that it's not just about the paper. It's also about the settings. And so I thought I'd pop on here because I have seen people talk about printing and what paper and stuff. And when you ask about printing digital elements, most people do mention the paper, but I, not very many people have mentioned the settings. And so I did want to touch on that because I've just learned this. So I have a few things here. The photo paper that I use is Epson, Ev no, I'm lying. It's HP Everyday Photo Paper. In fact, let me go get my paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the photo paper that I use. It is glossy and it's designed for inkjet printers because that's what I have. I have an HP printer and I use the HP Instant Ink. And this photo paper has really done quite well in my printer. That's what this is printed on. And so, I also have some of this Canon matte photo paper. Um, and then I picked up at the recommendation of the December Daily Group some of this Epson Premium Presentation paper in matte. And it's double-sided, so you don't have to figure out which side is which. This Canon photo paper is not double-sided and you got to figure out which is which, but the, the wrong side has got a little bit of a cream, dull cream color to it. 
And then I also have picked up some of this Nina Bright White 65 pound card stock, thinking that I could print on that, but I might be wrong. And then this is the regular photo paper that I use. I mean, not photo paper, printer paper that I use. It's 22 pound and it is um, the HP brand which I just realized they have a spot to tear it open. That's clever. I didn't know that. So let's talk about what these photos look like. I had to take my sweater off though because my body can't decide if it's hot or cold. We're finally starting to get some cooler weather here in Northeast Texas. And I'm pretty excited. So this is the um, HP Everyday Photo Paper, and I printed it out with, so I just got, that's what, so I'm on a tangent, and I'm sorry. Um, this was this, la this past weekend. My birthday is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and so my birthday gift is this Mac, uh, iMac or Mac desktop. And I am absolutely in love with it. Um, and so I have printed all of these out from my Mac that I downloaded after creating them in Canva. And on the Mac, I don't know if it's, it's different for Mac and what are the other computers called? My Dell computer um, had different settings. And so the default setting is um i guess for just plain printer or like plain plain printing which i think that's what i ended up printing this out on and it is not that great is this stuff together yeah so you can kind of see so this is um on that matte photo paper the Canon matte photo paper and I printed it with default settings and you might can see here where the lines are on that but because everything in this album was dark and I hadn't figured out what I figured out today um it didn't bother me that much and so I just created um I just added it to my album and I am going to leave it in there because it's fine. I'm sick of this album for now, but this one is printed on the photo paper and it's just gorgeous. And then this one is printed on plain, that plain HP 22 printer paper on, um, I think I used the photo settings for this. And so, even with the photo settings, the paper sucked. It sucked all the life out of it, really. That red is now very muted. It's not quite as bright. My face is much lighter, which is fine. This doesn't bother me as much as having the lines on. So, this is the same setting on two different papers. This is also the same setting on the photo paper. And today is when I created this with a layered template in Canva. And this one is on the Everyday HP photo paper. And so I decided today that I was gonna try out a bunch of things. So that's what I did with the exact same photo so I could really see what was going on. These I do plan on using in an album. These I plan on storing which I might actually take this out and store it too. So this is the um, Everyday HP photo paper. This is the exact same photo printed on the Epson presentation paper. That's what this one is. And you can kind of see that the saturation is not quite the same along these photos, especially you can really see it the most in my daughter's face and in the fireplace. And then this exact same photo. So this was printed on 
Um, this was printed with the photo on plain paper setting, this Epson one, which I need to write that down. Plain photo. And then this was printed with photo fine. I don't think it's gonna show up, that's okay. Then this one is the, um, so you can kind of see the difference between the plain and the photo fine settings. So this is, this is the Epson and this is the Canon photo paper matte. And this one is printed with the fine setting and this one is printed with the plain setting. And so you can, there's not a whole, whole lot of difference. You can see just a little bit in my daughter's face. Her face is a little bit darker here than it is here. And I think it's because this, this paper is a little bit more cream based. I don't know if you can see that as much, but this one is a little bit more cream based than this. And that's probably where the difference comes from. And then this one is printed on the Nina Bright White cardstock. And like the plain paper, and I printed it with photo plain settings. Let me write that down. Just like I did here. And so you can kind of see the reds are desaturated the same and so are the dark colors and I think it's because the the paper just absorbed the ink and so then I think this is going to be the biggest difference so this one is printed on this paper this is the Canon photo paper matte on default settings and so I realized after I hit print that I should not have done that because when you print on photo settings, it takes it through really slow. When you print it on default, it just sucked it through and just threw down the ink on there. And so you can see here, I hope, let me stand up so I can tell. Yeah, you can see here the lines from the printing, especially in this dark spot and even here too. And so the default settings, even with the fancy paper, didn't do right. So the whole point of this is for me to figure out which paper I like best because these are both very similar papers. And honestly, I can't tell too much of a difference. This might actually be better, this one. Which one is this? The Canon. And so honestly, unless I have these side by side, I can't tell too much of a difference. And it's really going to probably come down to price when I repurchase. Because I do still have a full packet of the Epson photo paper, Epson presentation paper. And I still have several pieces of the Canon mat. This one is the, yeah, this one is the cardstock. And it's printed with the photo setting but it is so desaturated that it's not my favorite. And then the plain paper with the photo settings, again, they, they desaturated the same amount. So if I was in a pinch, it might be okay to use this, but I think I'd rather have the photo paper fully stocked because you can really see the difference in these photos. So now what I want to do is I have this binder and because I am new to digital stuff, I would like to put it in here with my, um, with the lesson notes and, uh, label them so that when I forget, because inevitably I will, I can come back in and see what I printed and how. So that's what I'm fixing to do right now. I pulled these labels out of a Happy Planner sticker book and I am just about to write down the settings and I'm going to put a star 
next to the ones that are my favorite. And so this one is the HP Everyday Photo. And I printed it with the Glossy Photo Fine setting. So let me stick that on here. Now these are not, these are photos that I already have included in this year's album and or have plans to. So I'm just going to stick this on here because I'm not going to use this. Although I do love the journaling that I put on. So I'm going to put that in here. And I think it's also important to note that these photos were taken with an older iPhone. I think an iPhone 9. And this year we upgraded to the 13. And I think that might be why this photo it looks much nicer. Uh, also, we were outside in the car and not in the house. Um, so I'm excited to see what the photos look like this year. Canon matte photo on plane. Actually, I think these were taken with a seven because I think we upgraded to a nine in 2020, like after Christmas, and then upgraded to the 11, and then have upgraded to the 13 now. So that also makes a difference. So let's see. This one is Nina cardstock. Where's my pin? Photo plane setting. Okay, this one is Canon matte photo on plane. Fine. trying to be more organized with my scrapbooking and see for some reason when you do it on this cardstock where is that cardstock one this happened here and then this one on the Epson these are both printed with the plain setting and it did the exact same thing in the exact same place. So it must have something to do with the setting. So I'm just gonna mark that and put setting with a question mark. Cause I think it might be. I think it's the way it sucks it in there. Um, do I have a sticker on that? Yes, yes. Okay, this one is Epson presentation. photo and I don't think I did the fine on this one or the other one on the Nina cardstock it might make a difference but I think I've used enough ink and paper this time Canon matte with default settings And then I want to put some on here. This is plain printer paper with photo. Is it photo fine? Did I write that down? I don't think I wrote it down. I think it's 
photo plane, but I don't think I did fine. And this one is HP Every Day photo paper with um, photo plane setting. Okay. So now I'm gonna put these because this one is the plain fine photo plane fine setting. Where is that other one? This is the glossy photo fine. And so I these are my favorites. And then I really like the Canon matte. So I don't mind the, um, I don't like it with the default setting. I don't mind the Epson presentation paper. I wonder if I did that side by side with the Canon in a, um, the fine setting, it might be better. And so let me put these inside these page protectors, which covers them up a little bit. And so I, but I can easily pull them out. I thought it was better than punching holes. I want to put the two glossy ones together. I do like the glossy. I don't think I like glossy for like journaling cards and stuff, which is why I'm trying to find a matte paper that I like. Um, and I think it was the settings that I was using that I was disliking before because um, I want that in here and I think I might do one more run through with the Epson presentation paper and do it on the plain fine photo plane fine setting so the options for my settings are default glossy photo Plain, glossy photo, fine, plain paper, no, plain photo, and then plain photo, fine. So, I'm assuming plain means matte. And that is how I um, determined the ones that I wanted. So, I think what I might do is I might print out with the Epson presentation paper so that it is a direct comparison with the Canon matte photo paper and print it out on the fine setting and put it back to back with that one. So that when I get ready to select my choices next, I have that option there. I might switch these. Oh, I had it upside down. They were already switched. So let me do that real quick and I'll pop back on and see what that looks Before like. Before I go do that, I do have to brag on Epson because the bag is resealable, but the sticky is not on the lip. And so the photo paper doesn't stick as you bring it out like it does with other brands. Because this is sticky, not this. And I really love that. And I think that is very thoughtful of them to do that if they did that on purpose. If not, they should take note and so should everybody else. And so this is double sided, so it doesn't matter what side I use. I'm gonna go print out this exact same photo on the same settings as this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is, let me write this down before I forget it. This is the Epson presentation paper printed on the photo plane fine setting. So these are printed with the, they're the exact same photos, the exact same settings, just the paper is different. And I've got to say, I cannot tell a difference. Th 
this might be a little bit more crisp, but that could just be me being nitpicky. I don't know. But they look very, very similar to me. So it probably is really going to come down to the price. If the Canon photo matte paper is cheaper than the Epson presentation paper, then that is probably what I will use to print on. So I would also like to note that on my printer, when I put the paper in, I, on this, on these two, the HP Everyday, I selected Oh no, I selected photo paper on everything except for the cardstock and the printer paper. So that makes a difference um, when you select them. Um, so I'm just going to stick these inside here with these class notes. And also in here, um, I will keep... I'm thinking of printing um oh shoot what was I gonna say just different notes about different digital things that I learn so I am really in love with Canva and I highly recommend the create with Canva course if you are interested in learning how to digitally um print and use digital elements because um this has really been a lot of fun to learn and it has been very easy to learn canvas super easy i had considered buying photoshop but i'm working on a doctorate and i don't have time to learn a whole new program of uh, photo editing software. I just don't have the time, but I'd already been a little bit familiar with Canva and it is very user-friendly, very easy to use. And Kim just walks you through step-by-step -step and makes it easy for you to understand. And so I highly recommend it. Oh, I remember what I was going to put in here. I am going to go through all of my page protectors and album sizes and make a little template to put inside here so that I know what size to size my photos and my elements because I have found in here that um, some of these things don't fit. So for example, th this is a six by eight album and so I didn't realize that the inside the page protector is not actually six by eight. This photo was done in a Canva, in Canva at six by eight, and it's way too small. And so this is actually six and a quarter, the inside of this page protector by eight and a half. So that's why there's all this extra space outside of the page protector is almost seven by eight and a half. Let me see if it's the same here. Oh, that's got a flip, hold on. So I am new to pocket pages because I've been a junk journaler and a traveler's notebooker and I didn't realize that the page protectors are not what size they say they are. This is eight and a quarter. I wonder if there are two different brands. So this is Becky Higgins and this is Simple Stories. So yeah, I've got to go through and see what, and when I've got scrapbook.com too, I got to go through and make a little, some notes. Um, and I'm going to put it inside here because not all these page protectors are created equal. And I didn't know that. And I would like to know that because it really frustrates me when I start scrapbooking and things don't fit. So that I think is all I have for today. I think I've kept you long enough. I just thought I'd share these things because that's really the whole, one of the reasons why I even wanted a YouTube channel 
was because there are some things that I learned along the way that I've been trying to find, um, like question, answering questions that I've had, and I can't find the answers. And so I'm figuring these things out on my own, and I thought I would, you know, give a place for those answers to be found. So that, because it makes me nervous to ask in a Facebook group <laughs> sometimes about things, because um, I feel like I should know them already. Um, so I hope this has been helpful to someone. If it is, just let me know, or if you have any questions, we'll try this stuff out together. Um, and I think at this point, it's just kind of trial and error, and I'm hoping that it's more wins than losses, and at this point, I think so, um, because I'm learning what I like and what I don't like, and I think that makes scrapbooking and memory keeping easier. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out in my crafty nook. Bye.